day. So today I'm going to uh, try a little project. Shouldn't take very long. Uh, my sister Pat had asked me to make her some uh, wooden beads. She started doing some uh, macrame here uh, in the last year or so and uh, she wanted to know if I could make uh, uh, some beads. So initially I started out by uh, trying to make beads on a long, you know, take a long piece of wood and make make a bunch of beads and do a whole bunch at one time. And what I found out was that uh, once I had this all turned into beads and then I try and put a hole in it, I was having uh, a lot of difficulty uh, trying to get the uh, trying to get the holes to look look normal. Plus when I grabbed this in a chuck to try and part them off, this was so floppy that it uh, it just didn't work out. So I put it on the back burner for a, a little while and and today I've come up with a, a different idea. I'm going to make them uh, using a smaller section of material like this and uh, I can make maybe two or three beads out of each piece and even though it looks like it's going to take longer to do them individually in the long run it's it's going to be quicker or I think it's going to be quicker I haven't done this process yet so uh, bear with me we're going to find out just how well it works okay I'll get started here and uh, uh, get things set up and uh, we'll start turning some. So normally when I'm doing a project like this I would uh, spend some time in the office and do a little bit of a pre-plan but because uh, um, uh, th this should be a simple project I should be able to turn it on the fly what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tenon on the, this end so I can grab it on the chuck and then I'm going to be able to use tailstock support and shape some beads and I'm going to use a, a, I think this is a 5 16 drill bit and I'm going to shape the first bead and I'm going to drill it off shape the second bead and then drill it off and if there's room I'll do a third bead and drill it off but what I'm hoping to do is uh, uh, make the beads real simple. I can turn lots of these little sticks and uh, make the tenon on them so they'll all fit in the chuck and because it's only sticking out three or four inches I should be able to turn the beads relatively quickly. So without further ado I'll grab my face shield and we'll get to doing some turning. And again this should be really really nice skew practice because basically it's just spindle turning Raise this up a little bit. So there's one blank turned around and it's all the same size so when I make these beads these beads will all be the same size. I'll just grab another block of wood and we'll uh, put tenons on a bunch of these blanks so that I can uh, make a make a bunch of beads from various woods. I think this is mahogany the last one was walnut so I'll go ahead and turn a bunch of these around and put tenons on them and I'll come back when I have a bunch of them ready to go in the chuck.
Okay, I guess we're back, and uh, I guess we're ready to uh, start turning some some beads. I'll just switch over to my uh, to a chuck, and we'll, we'll turn a few beads. So I've got a tenon on the bottom of the sticks, so they can slide in here. I can check with the tailstock, and it looks like all of these sticks are going to line up perfectly with that tenon, so that's that's great. To start with, I'll use a little tailstock support, but once I make the first bead, I'll have to drill the hole once I've got it shaped. So I'll be replacing the uh, tailstock with a drill bit, and we'll just uh, drill them as we need them. So to make the uh, to make the beads, I'm going to. Uh, Roughly see how many beads I can get out of here and get a rough idea of uh, of the length I want to use. So I've got about 90 millimeters on here. So if I make these go about uh, 20 millimeters on this piece here, I'll probably end up getting. Yeah, I should probably end up getting. One, two, three, four, probably four beads, maybe. We'll see how it goes.
So because I had a little catch on the um, <clears throat> on this bead bead here, made a little groove. Uh, I called that a design opportunity, and I just put the same groove in the other four. So now we're just going to go out and we're going to drill drill these off. So I'll slow down the uh, slow down the speed. So there we go, we got uh, four beads. And it looks like my process is gonna work not too bad. So uh, changing my design to a short stick and um, making the beads all the same size and then drilling them out and parting them off one at a time, I can clean this up a little bit with my belt sander and we'll have some beads. And uh, the beauty of it is, is I can make the design uh, however we want. Uh, this one here actually was an accidental design, but uh, there's a group of four, so that should be fine. Hopefully Pat will like them, and they're kind of fun to make.
So there we go. We got a whole bunch of these little beads here. I've got probably a couple of dozen of them made. Uh, I've got a few more sticks to turn into beads. Uh, I'm going to get them done. I'll stick them in an envelope and um, send them on the way to, uh, to Pat and Calgary. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you on the next one.